Hello everyone, this is Captain Dave with Simple Plan Trucking, coming at you from Brockport, New York, with my trainer, Jacob, with JDQ Transportation. What's going on, y'all? Hey, so um, we're just here today to give you an update. Um, we didn't give you nearly as many videos as we had hoped to along the way. Well, we, we slapped and running uh, yeah, all along the way. And so um, I finished my miles for my um, upgrade to drive celebration on that and oh, yeah. uh you know we actually finished our miles i think last tuesday we were out in cheyenne wyoming yeah, that's where we had the celebration in that dock <laughs> yeah yeah uh he i was actually sleeping at the time and he said hey check your check your messages and see what just came across so um you know it was a long time for me it was a lot of anticipation um i, I feel like as I came through the whole process, I was pretty well educated and knew what to expect, but sometimes your mind plays tricks on you, and I had kind of forgotten about the fact that just because you finish your miles doesn't mean that you're coming right into upgrade. And in my mind, I was just kind of thinking, okay, 10,000 miles, now I'm down to 5,000, 3,000, I got 1,000 left, and I thought that call would come just as soon as I I uh, got my miles, but you know, I got a, a rude awakening when, when I was told, hey, you know, it's a, it's kind of a process and there are things that have to happen before we can bring you in. So I guess we've gone a couple thousand miles over. I don't yeah, know how many. we'll probably be about 32, 33,000 by the time we get to Springfield, which is still no big deal. Right, right. So we got the call and, and actually a few days ago, we knew we were going to be coming in. And then last night, uh, we, we, we brought a load over here to Syracuse, New York. And this morning we got the message that, hey, we can't bring you directly in. We're gonna send you down um, to New York, Brockport here in New York. We're gonna take a load to North Carolina and then we're gonna be routed in. Uh, we'll get we'll get to our, our uh, 90 tonight at about midnight. And from midnight on, we'll, it'll be a straight shot into to Springfield. So I'm thinking that I'll uh, <coughs> probably be ready for my uh, upgrade classes starting on Monday. You know, have the weekend, half the weekend to kind of chill. My wife Brooke is there, so I'm, I'm just really excited because I'm gonna be able to be there in town when she takes her test for her uh, to pass her CDL, which will probably be next week sometime. So I'm excited to be there for her, but I uh, just wanted to give you a review on everything. I think we, we talked about how we had kind of hit it off and we, we did real well, I think, for a trainer, trainee, yeah. Um, relationship um, because you know even if you get the driving and you get you know the backing and, and you get all of the paperwork and the qual calm down just that element of, of um, getting along can sometimes make it stressful if you're you know diametrically different from the person that you're with so right. you want to talk about that at all or? it's it's very difficult to be in a truck with somebody for 30,000 miles because that could take six plus weeks to do if you don't get along with the person that you're training or that's training you it's gonna be 10 times if not more worse than what it would be if you actually get along with the person yeah granted you know it's trainer trainee relationship first mm -hmm. friend friend type relationship friendship after right and but we, being that me and captain dave here knew each other beforehand we knew we would get along, so we knew it would work out, so it would be better for us. And he really didn't need all that much more training because he was already 20,000 miles in and he knew a lot of stuff already. It's just some stuff needed to be tweaked and we got that down pack, no problem. I feel really comfortable. And I was telling uh, um, Jake just before we got on, on the call that I don't think you're ever ready when it comes to the backing. And I feel pretty comfortable with the driving, but unless unless you were someone that backed trucks or backed a lot of trailers before you came to get your CDL, it's still a really new experience. And, you know, I may have backed a total of 15 or 20 times my whole time in my life. So is, am I an expert? No way. But I've done enough now that I think that in most situations, I can figure out how to do it. And it might take me a while. It might take a lot right. of pull-ups, a lot of get out and looks, and it may not be pretty. Hey, it happens to us all. But like I'll, that damn blind side that I had in late in Utah with that load of flowers. Yeah. 45 minutes, 37 get out and looks and three pull-ups. <laughs> and the, the, the alley, the, the alley was really narrow. Yeah, it was it wasn't real narrow. long. So had to get down there and make a, almost a 90-degree And, 90 a, degree and it was a blind side at that. 
crazy. So yeah, I, I think that we're good and I'm, I'm just happy to be finished. I'm happy to be uh, upgrading at the same time that my wife's passing um, her CDL. We'll get back in here to uh, Springfield and we'll, we'll continue, you know, our adventure down the road together. Our right. My time is going to end with Jake here, but I think that, you know, I've probably, you know, got somebody that, that I can count on for, for additional help in the future. And, and certainly he has an ally here. If he needs me for anything, he can right. call me and I'll be there for him. So it's been great. And, you know, any of you that are, you know, considering coming into trucking, it's not easy. It's really not easy, but if you come with a plan and you keep your plan simple and you stick to your plan and you don't let things get you down, you know, you just keep pounding at it, you'll be here before you know it. Um, and it's almost surreal that it's all coming to an end so quickly now. I'm going to go to Springfield. I'm going to take the um, upgrade classes and, you know, who knows how long it'll take for a truck. Yesterday when I looked, I think there were 62 people on the yeah. list for upgrade, but that's okay. I mean, I'm, I'm in the queue. I'm, I'm moving toward that and, and hopefully we'll get a truck that runs well and Brooke and I can get out there and start making some money pretty quick. But that's really all for today. Just one step closer to reaching my goals. Uh, hopefully we, we made you some money um, yeah. over the last uh, three weeks. And uh, that's what it's all it's about as a trainer. I mean, we, we did well, I think. But, um, if you're doing, if you're like freight skater said, if you're getting into training for the money, just don't even get into it. Because if you're trying to get into it for the money, you're doing it for all the wrong reasons. It's really not worth it, is it? No, it's not worth You'll the money. You'll be happy. Exactly. Yeah. Because you have to have the want to help people mm -hmm. if you're a trainer. And that's why I'm getting into it. Because I've seen a lot of horror stories on the Facebook pages about horrible trainers, horrible trainees, this, that, the other. So I'm trying to, I got into training to try and eliminate that as much as I possibly can to try and give the students coming in the best time that they can possibly have within my control while mm -hmm. they're in training. Mm -hmm. And and my success or failure to a certain extent is a reflection on the job that Jake did training for me. And I think he knows that. Correct. I think he's proud of it. I mean, I think that you'll feel comfortable saying, He's not perfect, but I'm ready to give my stamp yeah. of approval and go out and continue to learn. And, and, yeah, and then there's there's just some stuff that you're not going to learn in training. There's mm -hmm. some stuff you just have to learn on your own. Right, right, right. So that's it. It's been a great experience. I'd uh, recommend it to anyone. Um, he is available, uh, JDQ Transportation. Actually, whenever I go home for my two weeks and I come back out, I already have someone else lined up. That's great. That's great. And I... I think he's got friends, you know, obviously that he's met in trucking and a, right. a, a friend of his recommended someone that was coming in and said, Hey, I think this would be a good right. match for you, someone to train. And really, you know, you learn along the way when you went to, to uh, TNT trainer school, you really didn't know if you were going to do PSD or not, but you've about decided that you just want to stick yeah, with I'm, I'm uh, just, I'm TNT I'm just for now. Stick with TNT. Okay. Well, good deal. Because it's more beneficial for me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to not have to be shut down or working on the pad or just running local stuff for two weeks. Right. You get, a, get, get out and start hitting the road, you know, almost immediately. Right. right. Good. So that's it. Um, just a quick call for you today. I know most of you are watching the safety meeting right now, but uh, if you have any questions, please leave them below. Like, comment, subscribe, and, you know, always remember to keep uh, your uh, work hard, but keep your plan safe. Uh, and um, simple. Keep your plan simple. This is Captain Dave with Simple Plan Trucking and JDQ Transportation. Signing off for now. Take care and have a great day. Y'all drive safe. Peace. Adios.